My name is Mark Parliament. I'm a senior technical trainer for Lennox Learning Solutions. Today we're going to talk about the HRV and an ERV. And you look at me and say, Mark, what, what is an HRV? Well, an HRV is actually what we call a heat recovery ventilator. What happens in a lot of our northern climates is, you know, in the winter time we sit there, we want to keep the house warm, so we shut up all our windows and doors. And part of the issue when we shut up all our windows and doors for six months out of the year, I mean, I'm from Canada, we get ice and snow good, a good four or five months out of the year, is we need to exchange air. You know, when we don't exchange air, we have issues like black mold showing up and all sorts of other things. So we want to make sure we get those air changes built into the house. And rather than opening a window where we just let that absolutely ice cold air come into the house and make our furnace work much harder than what it is, we've actually come up with something we call a heat recovery ventilator. And basically what a heat recovery ventilator is, it's like opening the window but also exchanging the heat as we go out. Because what normally happens is on the top of it here you can see we have a bunch of outlets hooked into it. What we would normally do is we would hook up flexible duct that would take air from outside and bring it into the unit. We'd have another one that takes air and puts it back outside. And then we have areas where we actually pull air in from certain places within the house and we redistribute that air that we've brought in from outside and we put it back into the house. Where we try to take our air out of the house in most cases if we can is we take out of our moisture producing areas, bathrooms, kitchens, laundry rooms, anywhere where we're going to have lots of moisture being built up. We want point of source removal of that air. That's not to say I can't turn around and put an HRV onto a system where, where I don't have those, those point of source places already installed. So I can take an HRV and I can put it onto an existing ductwork system. I'm just going to turn around and take air out of the return air and I'm going to send it outside and I'm going to put air back into the return air in order for me to exchange that air inside of it. And you say to me, Mark, how is that possible that it can and deal with the heat as well. Because inside of it, what we've got inside is something we call the core of the system. And really what the core of the system is, is exactly that. It's a, it's a core that allows air to pass across it. In other words, it's a small heat exchanger. We have two pre-filters that are put inside that are going to filter all the air that's going into the unit and any of the air that's coming back into the unit to go outside. We're going to pre-filter those first. But what we have inside the unit is what we call the actual core itself. And as you can see as I slide this core out, really what the core is, it's just two separate passageways that allows air to pass back and forth to touch these plates and actually exchange the heat that's into that air. Because the air that I'm putting outside in the winter time, we've already heated that with our gas furnace. Well, I don't want to just waste that heat. So by taking the cold air and passing it across this, the same channel as the warm air, I can exchange the heat that I've already heated into the house and actually warm the air that's coming in back inside. And you say to me, that's great, Mark. So I've exchanged the air. What's, what's that going to do for me? Well, the nice thing about that is the fact that in the winter time, we can actually reduce humidity inside the house as well. Because the colder it is outside, the, the less amount of heat or less amount of water is in that air. So I take that dry air, I bring it inside, I pass air across it, so I heat that air back up, but I don't change its humidity level. Now I take that dry air and I mix it back into my house and my overall heat or my overall moisture content inside my house goes down. It's a great way of doing it without having to worry about it. But you say to me, Mark, that's great. But I don't live in the north. I live in the south. I live where it's humid all the time. And we run air conditioning all the time. Well, that same principle happens. When I close up my house, I don't get the air inside my house exchanged the way I want to. In your case, we're going to sell you what's called an enthalpy recovery ventilator, or an ERV. And an ERV works almost exactly the same way as an HRV does. The only difference is the core inside of it, where this one is made as metal and it won't, it won't let that moisture go back and forth. In an enthalpy recovery ventilator, we actually take and put a membrane in there that's going to allow that humidity level to change. Because as I bring my warm air in that has a very high humidity level into it, and I pass it across the cell of the, of the air conditioned air that I'm putting back outside, I can actually dry that air out or I'm going to transfer that humidity to the drier air that's leaving my house so I can take the humidity out of it. It's what we call an enthalpy recovery ventilator or a total heat recovery ventilator because what it does is it deals with both sensible and latent heat. Where in HRV, it's really just dealing with sensible heat. 
it's exchanging those airs. So when it comes to maintenance on an HRV, really what I want to do is at least once a year, I want to take this, this core itself and I want to submerge it in water. I want water to be able to pass across it and clean out any air passages that are inside of it. I'm also going to then let it sit and dry for usually about a day and a half to two days to make sure it's good and dry when it comes in. I'm also going to notice that the, where I've got the arrows where it says up, I want to make sure that points up. I'm going to look at these tracks and I'm going to get all four tracks to line back up as I slide the unit into place. There's ones on either side and it can be tricky. So for one guy and some of these are usually put in places where it's really hard to get at. You just have to make sure everything lines up properly for you. It sits in place. We line up the four corners, grab the back of the unit and slide the unit into place. You want to make sure it's set really well. The other thing we want to do is take these pre-filters, you're going to wash them out in cold water, make sure they're good and dry, make sure everything's taken care of them. You're going to take them and you're going to set them back in place as well. You're going to slide them back in place so that everything's there for it. Once that's all in place, you're going to take your door, you're going to close your door back up and you're going to lock it in place. The other thing you've got to remember about an HRV or an ERV is the fact that there is times where we are going to see water come out of it. So into the bottom of the HRV, you're going to notice there's going to be some holes in the bottom that you're going to have to put some drain lines into. You are going to want to hook those drain lines up and take them to a point where we can get rid of that water. We also want to make sure that whatever we do in our drain line, we make sure the drain line's trapped and what we normally do is just take that clear plastic hose, put a big circle in it so that the water traps inside of it so that it can drain out properly. But really when we talk about an enthalpy or an HRV system, you want to sell them, you know, everybody says to me, Mark, they, they don't work in our area. There isn't an area in North America that an HRV wouldn't be a benefit to the homeowner. In places where we have high humidity levels in the wintertime, the HRV will deal with that. In places where I have, you know, where it's nice and warm and I'm running my, running my air conditioner all the time and I'm trying to dehumidify my house, my enthalpy recovery ventilator will work for you. So no matter what you do, anytime we want to talk about fresh air in the house, which is one of the key important ingredients when we want to talk about a healthy climate and a healthy home, is making sure we get proper air changes. And if you follow ASHRAE standards, an HRV or an ERV is the way you're going to want to do it. So, you know, looking at your homeowners and figuring out where to go, where you can help them out in the grand scheme of things, try to look at an HRV or an ERV.